The, uh, the main basis of the story is discovering where the progenitor virus, which is the origin of all the various viruses that appear in the Resident Evil series, uh, where that came from and how that came about. That's uh, the main mystery we're going to solve in this game. In Resident Evil 5, one of the things that you can do is, yes, you can uh, destroy environments using different weapons, and also we've tried to increase the uh, level of freedom that you can uh, achieve in the game. It's a more active game, a lot more stuff going on than uh, previous games in the series, so we want to allow the player to be able to uh, climb up places they want to climb, and to go places they want to go, and also to interact with the environment more than they've done so far. Yeah, one of the things that we have tried to do uh, with this game is to uh, a, increase the amount that you can interact with the environment. So for today you saw, for example, the drum cans that uh, start fires. We also have um, other parts of the environment that you can interact with and use them uh, in combination with their, uh, the many different weapons that are available in the game to uh, use them uh, as a part of your uh, attack against the enemies and to find different ways to use them to your advantage in order to stay alive. Yeah, with uh, Chris, one of the things that we've tried to do is to uh, create a character design though where he, uh, he's buffed up and he's a little bit tougher and uh, in tandem with that he's going to have um, a lot of different, uh, or he's going to have some different moves. Um, for example today you saw the uppercut and he'll also have some other uh, forms of attack that uh, will be of use to him during the, during the game. Today in the, in the play demo that you saw, um, the stage that you saw in that was uh, definitely one of the bright areas in the game, one of the brighter areas. Um, but actually in the game itself uh, the area that leads up to that is a very dark, uh, uh, very very dark and sort of narrow uh, area, and um, one of the uh, ways that we'll use that in in the gameplay is to have you going uh, back and forth from dark areas to light areas, and having different kinds of of gameplay within those. Yeah, one of the things that we've done is to uh, to improve the AI so that the uh, enemies are smarter at uh, chasing the player and going after you and working together to uh, to surround you and to uh, follow you into the, any of the areas that you can go in. Um, so they, we have certainly tried to improve the, uh, the intelligence uh, of what they can do and also their abilities. And uh, uh, one of the other things that you might have noticed today is that they, uh, they won't just stand there and let you train your laser sight on them. They will uh, also have some, some countermeasures for that too. You, we think that uh, the story, when you finish playing Resident Evil 5, you will know what the virus is, uh, where it's come from, and uh, where it's going to go in the future. We think we've created a story that will certainly uh, answer all of those. Yeah, all the, the development uh, staff and myself, you know, we love playing games, we're always uh, trying out different games, but in terms of uh, the games that actually had an influence uh, on Resident Evil 5, uh, those games are Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 3, <laughs> Resident Evil 2. Um, so, yeah, those are the games that certainly we've, uh, we've learned uh, the most from. Uh, in terms of games that uh, we're just playing at the moment, personally, I'm, I'm really big into uh, Call of Duty 4 right now, and I uh, have a lot of fun with that. I think the reason that uh, Resident Evil 4 was so well received uh, by fans was because it was just such a big change um, to the survival horror genre. Um, and it, it not only uh, changed the genre itself, but it also preserved uh, all the right elements uh, of the genre and made them into something new, and I think that was something that really struck a balance with fans. And it, uh, because Resident Evil 4 was, was such a good game, it puts a lot of pressure uh, on us and it creates a very big hurdle for us to create a game that is, uh, is better than that. Super